Hello, we are about to read The Painted Lady Butterfly. I've chosen books today about nature because I have been able to take a lot of walks and go on a lot of runs. And even, I've done even a couple of bike rides when the weather is warm enough. So I'm excited about spring. You can tell I'm excited about spring. Now this book is realistic fiction, which means that while it maybe isn't full completely of facts and that type of thing, it is still going to have some very interesting information and we're going to learn about more about butterflies. So The Painted Lady Butterfly is by an author named Nancy J. Nielsen and it's illustrated by Leuba Bogan. I'm not sure if I'm saying the illustrator's name right, but I did my best. Take a look at the table of contents for our book. Remember, a table of contents tells us the different parts that we'll find inside a book and where we'll find those parts. So we have the first part of our book, and it begins on page number two. Then we have a middle part, and it begins on page six. Finally, we have our last section of this book, or chapter, and it begins on page 12. So our title page also contains our table of contents in this book. So the first part is titled Butterflies, Butterflies. We're going to read this book as an echo read, which means I'm going to read a page, then you will echo read it back to me. I love butterflies. I see them outside every summer. Your turn. Butterflies have names. This butterfly is the Painted Lady. I like other butterflies, but I like that one best. Look at that butterfly and those flowers. Your turn. Now it is winter. There are no butterflies outside. I wish I could see butterflies now, I said to my friend Amy. Sarah, have you been to the butterfly house? Amy asked. I've never gone, I said, but I would like to go. So here are these two friends, Amy and Sarah, talking about butterflies. Are you ready? A house of butterflies. A week later, Amy called. Would you like to come to the butterfly house, Sarah? My mom and I are going. Yes, I said. Just beep when you get here. Oh, she's on the phone. Look at all the butterflies, I said to Amy. I hope I find a painted lady. Is that one, Amy asked. No, I said, a painted lady is orange. Oh, and we can see the butterfly in this picture isn't orange. There's a blue one and sort of a black and purple one. And then I see, is that a little white one right there? The bottom of the page. Your turn.
A butterfly landed on Amy. Look, Sarah, Amy said. Is it a painted lady? No, I said. A painted lady doesn't have black bands. So take a look at the picture. Ready? I've never been here before, I said to a helper. Do you have a painted lady? Yes, she said. Search. You will find one. Your turn. said Amy. No, it's not, I said. A painted lady has black and white spots. We looked all around. We looked under plants and on plants. We looked everywhere, but it was gone. That's not the painted lady. The Painted Lady We have to go now, Amy's mother said. Their helpers will check to see if you have any butterflies on you. Did you find the Painted Lady? One helper asked. No, it must be invisible. We never did, I said. That's odd, she said. Then I turned around so the helper could check my back. Now I see why you couldn't find the painted lady. It was on your shirt all the time, the helper said. She gently lifted it off and showed it to me and the others. It was beautiful. Your turn. I'm going to come back to see the painted lady, I said. And now I have a clue about where to look first. Get ready, readers.
I hope you get a chance to go outside today and look for some butterflies of your very